Yeah, here we are, you know, driving around and just doing these solar homes. We left some materials on two houses so far. And, you know, it's just, what's wrong with using an electric car for doing this? It's great. It's no problem at all. So now we're going to a third house. So actually doing the caravan portion of the solar tour, there's going to be a self-guided solar tour. And then it's going to be, there's going to be a, a caravan portion too. The caravan will be led by a RAV4EV because solar power and electric cars go hand in hand. Now that actually is a golf course. If there were any golf carts, you know, that's where they'd be. Everywhere you go, you are breathing in the excreta of all these cars. And there's the freeway. Whatever goes on on that freeway, you know, is, is, is spewed onto us. <laughs> uh, refineries are also sometimes have smells come over here too. Now this is a really beautiful area too. Uh, one of the nice things about this job, you know, of seeing working with solar panels and putting in solar panels and selling solar panels, is that you go to the nice, get to go to the nicest places in the world and speak to the, the most interesting people in the world and the nicest people. And you get to see all kinds of native plants and uh, interesting uh, agri, you know, interesting trees and things like that. This is the Stoker home in, in Los Altos. Uh, these are, you know, sort of famous people uh, locally. Uh, he's a retired fireman and, you know, they, they're community, com involved in community affairs and things. So one of the things they did is they want to put in a solar system. So uh, there's a homeowners association here. Now the homeowners association really can't stop you from putting in solar. But on the other hand, we try to, you know, accommodate them any way we can so that the reasonable restriction that they required was that there be uh, a little boundary around it, you know, so that you couldn't see the bare metal. So that's, that's what we did. We made it like that, and, and it looks good, but, you know, you can see it right from the, from the street, and it, it really looks good. I mean, you can tell that this house is powering five or ten of its neighbors, but it's even better than that because they have solar water in addition. In fact, they've had solar water for 20 years. You know, they have one of the most sophisticated solar water systems that you can't even see. It's on the back side of the house. And uh, that's the inverter. This is an SMA Sunny Boy. You know, right now it's producing about 1,945 watts, which is, you know, about, about two thirds of its capacity. It's about 70% of its total capacity is being produced right now. So this is, uh, is really good. And this is the meter up there. Okay, this thing has been running backwards, but it started at zero when they put the new meter in. So what it reads now is 99,881, which means that they produced, uh, you know, 119 kilowatt hours more than they used. Right. Not only that, this is the best electric. This is the daytime electric. But sure as shooting, you know, Edison's going to come around here and they're going to say, well, you used 99,981 yes. kilowatt hours. Even here in this little um, place, you know, where there are hardly any cars in here, and I'm gonna get away from that guy. There's, you know, there's, when these cars start up, they spew fumes. I mean, everybody's living amidst cars, and they're not little cars, they're big old cars. And they're not electric cars, they're gas cars. You know, each one of them, when you start it up and warm it up, is spewing out fumes and, and nasty stuff. Now this up ahead is the right of way for the uh, Pacific Electric and that came up to Long Beach. But this green belt has sort of been restored. It's, uh, it's beautiful now. But uh, there's another house on the solar tour and there it is.